Get your special discount offer on the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com slash video. When you have a customer request for pricing for a prospective job, you can create a quote. In the quote, you can enter pricing information about your goods and services for the customer's request. Since they haven't agreed to purchase anything yet, they're simply provided with a quote. Quotes do not affect the account balances shown in the general ledger. They also are very useful, as quotes that the customer accepts can then easily be converted into sales orders or sales invoices later on. Now you can enter a quote for a customer in the Quotes window. To access this window, you can just select Tasks from the menu bar, roll down to Quotes and Sales Orders, and then just choose Quotes from the side menu that appears. That will open the Quotes window where you can then create the quote to send to the customer that requests one. Now when you're creating a quote, first you would select the name of the customer requesting the quote from the Customer ID drop-down. Now you must have the customer in your customer list to be able to create a quote for them. Now if you plan on printing the quote, then you can leave the quote number field blank. If you manually created a quote and you are simply recording it into Peachtree, then enter the quote number that you gave to the customer into the quote number field. You can then enter the date that the quote was created in the date calendar selector. And then enter the date that the quote is good through into the good through date field. Once again, you can enter it by typing it in or just using the calendar selector. Now the name and bill to fields will display the information for the selected customer. Note that you can change the ship to field by clicking the gray arrow next to that field and selecting a different shipping address for the customer. Also, you can specify a drop shipment by checking the drop ship checkbox if needed. Now, in the customer PO field, you can enter the customer's purchase order number if applicable. You can then select the shipping method from the ship via drop down if you need to do that. And you can also select the sales rep ID from the sales rep ID field. If available in the quotes window, you can also enter the accounts receivable account that the quote will debit once it is converted into an invoice by using the Accounts Receivable Account field. But that field will default to the last account used in a sales transaction and you can change it if needed. Then you would enter the quantity of the first item ordered in the Quantity field. Select the item that they're ordering from the Item drop-down, just as when you're creating invoices, for example. Now the description of the selected item will then be displayed in the description field and you can enter in a description for items that you don't track through inventory if you're not using the item field. The unit price should be displayed and once again the unit price times the quantity should give you the amount line. Also make sure you input the tax type for that particular line item. Now the GL account field will display the account set for the selected item if you have general ledger account displays enabled in your quotes. Also when ordering items that are not in inventory, the customer's sales account will be displayed here and you can change it if needed. It's also important to remember that the amounts shown here do not affect the general ledger until you convert the quote to a sales order or a sales invoice. Also note if the quote is for a specific job, you can select the job from the job field. It will not actually be applied to the job, however, once again, until the quote is converted into an invoice or sales order. Now in the sales tax code field, you'll see the sales tax code for the selected customer. If you need to change your sales tax code, just select it from the list and that will apply any necessary sales tax. You can also enter in any freight charges applicable to the transaction into the freight amount field. Now when you're done, once again, you can either click print to print the quote and assign it a quote number, or you can just click the save button to save the quote. And then you can print it in a batch later on. When you're finished with the window, just click the close button. Like what you see? Get your special discount offer on the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com slash video. Over two dozen titles are available in Microsoft Office, QuickBooks, Photoshop, and much more.